Hello, everyone. Welcome to Demystifying Gay Porn. As always, I am your host, Ike Grande. And if you watch gay porn, I definitely helped you get off. It is another Open Lines episode, and I am very, very happy to have as a guest a nipple fetishist <laughs> or somebody who appreciates the male nipple. <laughs> Let me go ahead and introduce you. Uh, my guest this week is E. E, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, okay, good. I'm looking forward to to hopefully having some questions answered and then also just hearing your experience. Um, okay. You, you sent me a message uh, via Instagram, via the gram, and you spoke about nipples. Yes. And this is something that I've noticed a lot of people recently, especially on set, it's almost like it's unspoken, but what ends up happening, okay. but yeah, what, what ends up happening is in between takes and sometimes uh, during, but very, very rare, but in between takes when people want to get hard again, like after you take a break, you know, cause they're not, they're not all workhorses on on it's a it's a mixture it's a mixture of show horse and workhorse on on camera but we take some breaks and stuff and the guys have to get hard again and one of the ways they get hard is they will play with each other's nipples yes uh i i've well the term that i've kind of been always introduced to it is is hardwired nipples and that's like we're uh by using like playing with the nipples will get a guy's dick hard or uh like and for a for a bottom like will kind of like open his hole so to speak wow yes hardwired nipples where did you hear this from well you know like <laughs> you know being on <laughs> like you know i guess like the internet and more like that you know i've done like all you know, like different hookup apps and stuff and certainly um like guys advertise themselves as having hardwired nipples and certainly when i've kind of like put out, you know, ads or something like that, looking for, you know, looking for dick or ass or something like that. You know, I've looked for people with sensitive nipples because I, you know, that's one of the areas I, I definitely like to focus on. So you enjoy, like, this is part of your sexual practice. Like you, nipples are always going to be a part of your sexual practice. Uh, yes, yes. Like, or, or I, I, I definitely, that's something I definitely look for. Like I try to have it yeah, as much as possible. Okay. And is it just, is it, you playing with this guy's nipples or both uh well mine my like there's definitely sensation like if mine are played with but it's not the way like how like these i i guess nipple bottoms as i like to you know i'm, I'm a top okay um and and you know definitely having nipple bottoms is something that's uh you know ideal and when you say nipple bottoms, I know we're getting we're diving right into it, but we'll eventually we'll we'll, we'll take okay. it back because I do want to I do want to talk about like how you may have found this and uh, a little bit of stuff that we spoke off uh, off air. Yes, but um, so nipple bottoms because I, I, this is the first I've heard of it, <laughs> and I love it. it. It might be an older term or something like that. So. I love it though. <laughs> it, it makes me think of nipple bottom jeans, <laughs> you know, just with the fur. Okay. Anyway, I, it's it's early, by the way. I just want to let people know it's really early. We're doing this. Yes, right yes. You know, I'm I'm a little bit, you know, come, coming a little bit off a little bit of caffeine high and stuff like that. Yeah, so, you, you know, just worked in, crazy. You, you just worked an overnight, <laughs> and I appreciate you coming on and 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 getting this podcast in uh, before you you head for a sound sleep before another day of work. Yes, so I, I appreciate it. <clears throat> These nipple bottoms. You said playing with their nipples can open up their asshole. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's, it's like the, the, the stim like that, that's what, that, like the stimulation for them is it, it, I almost look at it as almost like a feedback system. So when I'm playing with their nipples, whether I'm using my hands or using my mouth, that stimulation is enough that it kind of like gets them revved up where like they, they want sex. They want my dick inside of them. Um, and so it's, yeah, it, it's really, you know, it can be intoxicating <laughs> okay. for me well shoot all right well okay let's 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 take it back let's take it back to okay okay let's take it back to little e how about that <laughs> let's, let's go <laughs> let's go back to uh where um where are you from uh the midwest essentially okay. I, i've kind of like moved like my family moved around or whatever like that so um 
I mean, I'd say like facing Midwest. Okay, and you are you are a, a gay man, a straight man, a bisexual. Uh, <laughs> well, that's kind of. I, I consider myself a, a gay, non-practicing bisexual. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, because like you know, I, I'm. I, I still like you know, I'm, I'm not a. Uh, I, I guess as the the kids say, I'm not a gold star gay. You know, okay. so I've had had sex with women, but mm-hmm. uh, not probably as much as I would like to, you know, probably is one of those things where it's like, I wanted the sex, but the women didn't. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So you could have, <laughs> you, uh, you can definitely hold your own as, um, heterosexual sex, let's say. Uh, well, I mean, now obviously it, it's probably, it's been years mm. since the last time that I, I touched the pussy, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely something like say, you know, I think we were talking, I was talking to you how like, yeah, I still, you know, jerk off to straight porn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's, you know, you know, it, it, if, if someone throws pussy my way, I wouldn't turn it down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, I always felt that way too. I always felt like if I'm hard or if you can get me hard and you're a woman, why not? Let's do it. I almost feel, and I, I, I spoke to Joel, this, this porn star, Joel, Joel, someone, um, yeah, I, I love your interviews with him. He's oh, okay. awesome. Yeah, no, he's he's great. <laughs> but um, one of the interviews, we just we talked about because now he has sex with girls and stuff, and he mentioned something regarding if he had known earlier, and I feel this way too. I he probably wouldn't have labeled himself as gay real quick. But I, I don't know if it's a generational thing. But when I was growing up, you were either gay or straight. And in order, or bisexual, I mean, that's predominantly what, what was out there at the time. And we're not even oh, yeah, talking about- those were the terms <laughs> that I, I've always known. Yeah, and we're not even talking archaic. Like, we're not talking medieval <laughs> here. This is like 1997, 98. Like, <laughs> you know, but God forbid. Um, so yeah, I mean, if if I had known what what I know now about myself, I probably wouldn't have labeled myself as gay. Or at least I would have uh, talked about percentages, which I believe in a lot. Like people can be ninety percent straight and ten percent gay, and that just means you know they'll they'll hold a dick in their hand, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna suck it, you know? Like, <laughs> like stuff like that. The ratio, the Kinsey yeah. ratio. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm definitely like like Kinsey was something that I first came. I like I would almost say that you know I'm I'm definitely on the the gay side of the spectrum, but. You know, like I say, it you know, sometimes it, it ebbs and flows, and, and mm-hmm. obviously it's about availability. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, it, it's you know, it, it's I, I look at it as kind of funny. Like I was, you know, kind of growing up, I was always looking to go ahead and have sex with women, and like I was saying, how before it's just a matter of availability. Like the women weren't available, but then all of a sudden it's like, going, hey, there's men. <laughs> they <laughs> so, look good. <laughs> so men, were men were men more readily available while you were growing up? Oh, well, well, here, here's the thing. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't lose my virginity to a woman until I was in my mid twenties. And then I didn't lose my virginity to a man until I was in my early thirties. Oh, wow. Okay. So you were a late bloomer? Yeah. So I was, I was a late bloomer. Okay. So before, before losing your virginity, what was, what was growing up in the Midwest? Like what was, um, school like, and wait, did we touch on when you came out? Or when you identified uh, no, yourself? No, no. Well, I well, and that's the I didn't come, I didn't come out until like I said my my like thirties. Okay, <laughs> essentially. Okay, yeah. So so in your twenties, you were still a practicing heterosexual. A wannabe heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> or okay, yes, yeah, so practicing wannabe heterosexual. When you when you finally did have sex with a woman, what, what was that like? Well, that well, that's sort of like the ironic part because I I was just kind of coming into terms with being you know possibly being gay, mm-hmm. and <laughs> that's when I got my first girlfriend. Isn't that isn't that great? <laughs> isn't that great the way that happens? <laughs> so I don't know. I, I I think the universe was said at least try it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you sure about this? There's no going back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you know, like I, I was, I was just, you know, like this is, you know, again, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in my fifties now, so like I said, this is something where, like, you know, I was in college, and you know, like just kind of like in college, just kind of exploring, and uh, I was talking to people in the early internet days, um, and yeah, so I was, I was starting to talk to other gay men, talking about like, you know, like kind of like trying to come to an understanding of like, like the feelings that I was having. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and just kind of like in the process of doing that, I met this woman and we, you know, started a relationship and, uh, you know, it didn't end great. Um, but you know, but then after her, like right after her, like about maybe like 
a month later, th- there was another woman that I got into a relationship. And then, uh, you know, just again, circumstances happened where then we just, it, it didn't go any further. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and after that, like there was, so it was, it was those two women that I actually had physical sex with. There were definitely then just like other women that it was much more like there were opportunities. Like mm-hmm. if I was maybe a little bit more cognizant of, you know, uh, body language and stuff, perhaps mm. where, you know, <laughs> I, I could have, you know, done stuff, but, uh, you know, then that didn't happen. And then I got, I met the first man that I actually had sex with. And it's sort of been a little bit of like, you know, <laughs> downhill from there. Well, I want to, there's a lot to break down here, but what was, what was sex <sighs> like? What was your first encounter with a woman? Like <laughs> it was, no, it, it wasn't bad. I mean, it, it I think it was like, I think I built it up in my head so much that when it actually finally happened, it was almost a little bit underwhelming, <laughs> which I don't know if that makes sense. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I think all guys, especially even, even growing up, I, even, I want to say a, a handful of gay men too, like that are straight before they, they, they identify as gay or, or bisexual or anything. I think just the idea of being inside of somebody else, I, I feel like you might be in your head so much that you don't even realize how good it feels. <laughs> I, 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 feel I, like- I think that's exactly <laughs> it. You know, I like, you know, like now that's the thing, like I've been, ma- I had been masturbating probably since childhood. So, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, like, again, you know, I, I sort of had this whole scenario or like this, this perceived feeling in my head just from like masturbating all the time. So, I mean, I, I knew what felt good to me, but it was more like what I did, but it's kind of like that first time when somebody else was doing it, mm-hmm. it was like, it was, it was definitely very different. <laughs> well, you, um, when you say childhood, were you an early bloomer when it came to masturbation and, and puberty? Well, that, that it's funny. Cause I think that I, I discovered masturbation kind of by accident, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, I never actually like, you know, I, I, and you, I probably, and like, you just knew what to I do. I actually too. had an <laughs> orgasm. I didn't know what it, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I, you I, know, I was, I was basically, it was, you know, kind of like, you know, and that's the thing, like I, the, the, I was doing kind of like, I guess the, uh, a grinding type of method where I'd be kind of like on like at the floor mm-hmm. and I was just kind of like rocking around. And all of a sudden I, I, one time when I was doing it and all of a sudden it was like, I had this kind of like rush and it was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it crazy how so, you, your body or you just know what to do, even though it's the first time, and then you're like, "Oh, wait, yeah, wait. yeah." And so, so like I said, so that happened. But then I also then found, or, or I realized that, like, I think I was watching a rated R movie one time, and I was just like, you know, when I first ha- when it first happened, I was all like, "Oh, wow, this feels great." <laughs> so I was doing it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and but then, like I said, like I think I was watching a rated rated R movie, and I was what you know, and it was a. Uh, uh, you know, you had a woman out there and her, her tits were out and everything. And yeah, I, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, that really feels good. While you were jerking off or while you were masturbating, yeah. when you fantasize, did you kind of fantasize about what you would do to this woman? I'm assuming it was a woman at the time that you were thinking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it, 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 it was always it was always with a, with a woman or like, you know, in the early those early days, mm-hmm. uh, it was always with a woman. And it was always with me playing with her tits. So like, I think that's definitely where, again, okay. that's sort of where the, the nipple thing comes in. Okay. That was another question I was going to ask. Is it women's nipples too? Because you did get a chance to experiment with, with, uh, mm-hmm. with women. Yes. Yes. And w- the first time that you had sex, did you, was it like your fantasy? Uh, while, while well, like the, the, first, the first time is that I, I was having sex, uh, like the, the woman that I was with, she was giving me blowjobs. Okay. So, uh, you know, and like, well, blowjobs and then I would like tit fucker. Um, okay. and so like, so those, those were the first things. And then when I actually finally, then, you know, I actually got into the vagina and then, so I would, not only was I in the vagina, but then I was also then like, say, I was like, you know, I would be sucking on her tits while I'm mm-hmm. like fucking her. And so, you know, it was, yeah, that was the beginning. So you are an equal opportunity nipple player when it comes to men, oh yeah men absolutely okay. you know and so like like the first first woman that I was with was like she probably was like like large breasted you know like mm-hmm. you know like D's and above whereas then the second woman that I was with was smaller which was like kind of like a uh, like a, like a C cup mm-hmm. and so with her it was 
Like I, I, I didn't get to have as much sex with her that I wanted just because, you know, again, like I say, I, like I ended up moving and that's kind of what was the, the reason why we, you know, never went any further, but mm-hmm. her tits were perfect. Like, you know, like they were just enough. <laughs> I, I almost think of the, uh, there's like the, um, a line from the movie weird science Okay. <laughs> where it's going to be more than a handful is too much. I think it was, <laughs> but yeah, but so, but like I said, with a smaller breast, the nipple was much more like when, when she'd get the, the stimulation her nipples would get very erect. Okay. So, and so, so you and would that say, was, that was, you know, that's seals deal. <laughs> would, you, would you say women are nipple bottoms as well then? <laughs> no, no. Cause well, again, like I said, I, I don't have the, the frame of reference with enough women to know if that, okay. like, I, like I, I almost would say like in watching porn, like it's almost, I think women almost are more annoyed when men play with their, their tits as opposed to like when <laughs> men do it. <laughs> you said, uh, off air when you were growing up, you would, you would watch straight porn, your father's magazines and stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that, that was sort of like how, again, even like the, the idea of even like being gay was because, you know, like he had, um, you know, like there was like Playboy penthouse. And then he had a, a couple of like more extreme magazines. I don't remember the necessarily like the, uh, the titles, but that was one of the things where like, I think it was in the penthouse magazine. Sometimes they would have the photo shoots mm-hmm. where they would actually have a man, um, in the photo shoot with the woman. And I was always trying to like, I, I really wanted to see a penis, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and yeah. that was the thing then like those, since those, uh, magazines were, were definitely like were geared towards, uh, straight men, you know, it was always the focus was on the woman. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I was like, you know, I was still getting in my stimulation, but I wanted to see the man. I, you know, and I think that it's funny you say that there used to be a channel called the vivid actually, no, it was called spice. <laughs> I don't know if you're okay. That. Yeah, I know which in, one you're talking the, about. <laughs> mid to late '90s, it was called Spice, and it, you had a, a cable box, and the cable box would show you the scrambled. Like they, they would have it all. Oh, yeah, all day I love scrambled. scrambled. Oh my god! And then sometimes you would get a glimpse. Uh, you can try to yeah. make it out. It, it and was stuff. early, early morning, and the scramble would like it would go to like one side of the screen, so you yeah. almost get like the uh, the real thing. Yeah, and um, even even softcore porn, there is something about that that leaves so much oh. to your imagination. That makes yes, I, I actually, I like so, sometimes softcore porn can be just as stimulating mm-hmm. as the actual hardcore stuff because I think I can use more. Like for me, I, I definitely use more of my imagination, mm-hmm. but it it sometimes then even too just sort of like the the energy and the passion that the that the actors are bringing to it mm-hmm. is a little bit better than like sort of like i guess the the hardcore porn script where you know you're trying to get like the penetration shots and stuff yeah. so you're not necessarily seeing like i'd almost say like i'm i'm also like more voyeuristic okay. so like just seeing people having the sex is exciting to me as opposed to you know just like you know just one shot of you know somebody a dick going to a pussy or ass or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, close ups are great, but um, the overall everything of what's going on is hot too. Uh, yes, eye yes. contact and just body movement and and the heat that builds up and stuff. You would love my job. <laughs> That's one of the things that I've been discovering that your your channel is just like my God. I think you know it, it's it's funny where <laughs> I. I I, I think of my, I don't think of myself as a director, but definitely like I, I I now like when I do watch porn, sometimes I find myself looking at things other than the actual action. I'm thinking like, OK, if I was like doing this, I would focus on this here or this mm. there or something like that. You are you are an auteur. You are a director now. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can probably get in a room and um, be able to tell two people what to do when it comes to, to sex. <laughs> um so so while you were looking at these magazines as a kid or or growing up let's say i dislike using um child and kid but it's a part of growing yes, up it is, yeah, it's yeah. absolutely a part of growing up and a lot of the stuff that we innately kind of make part of who we are is instilled while we're growing up and that's why i love all the uh, a lot of the open lines and talking to models about um where that point happened and i'm curious okay. while while looking at your father's magazines is that when you started noticing men's nipples too or did you also did like what was it like being around other guys too while you were growing up well that that's the thing i don't think i I don't think I actually recognized men's nipples back then. I mean, I recognized men's bodies, 
Um, that was definitely, you know, like something, I mean, uh, you know, like being in gym class and I, I participated in a couple of sports. So, you know, being in the locker room and definitely like the, you know, definitely the guys who were like in really, really great shape. You know, I, I love the male physique. Um, and so, you know, I, I would notice, you know, definitely men's bodies and, you know, just the way how, you know, I, I want to say like, you know, I think I'm a little bit of a feminist and I do think there's sort of like a, a double standard how men can walk around without a shirt, but women can't, but, you know, I definitely appreciate men walking around with no shirt. So, you know, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first encounter with a guy like your first sexual encounter? Uh, well, the, like, yeah, the, the first time with a guy and that probably was the first time where then I, I actually did engage in nipple play because the, the guy that I was with, he wanted to have his nipples played with. And but he wanted his like he wanted a very like it was very like rough type of play, like like he wanted me to actually like 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 hard kind of like bite his nipples and like pull on them and everything. And that was like, that got him off or, or, you know, that was one of the things that got him off. So, yeah. So that was like one of like the first times that the first time that I actually had sex with a guy, it was, you know, also with this heavy nipple play. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, it, it didn't necessarily, cause like, like we, don't we didn't have anal sex we just had like you know like i just would play with the snipples and we'd like trade a blow jobs and stuff um but i didn't really 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 get into like sort of like playing with men's nips or i didn't discover like the whole the the, the nipple bottom thing until like a little bit later like a, actually probably like a couple of years later where i was with a guy and just you know the, the way how he responded when i would play with his nipples was just incredible when it comes to nipples how do you feel they are represented or do you, do you feel they're done justice through the porn that you watch? Well, well it, it's, it's funny because it's sort of, I think technically from a porn standpoint, like, I don't necessarily know if it, it would fit in type, type of like a fetish porn. Like there's, there's definitely stuff where like, like I'll say this, like, I, I think, you know, like listen to your podcast, I, I you're friends with champ Robinson, right? Mm-hmm. So like I noticed like a lot of times when he's, you know, when he's fucking his his bottoms or like that, he's always like playing with his nipples. Like he's like, you know, like I think like I say he's stimulating his nipples now. I don't know if that's actually just to get stimulation or if that's just to keep his hands out of the shot or something. Man. No, oh no, he I he is one of the prominent porn stars that absolutely yeah. loves nipple play. Um, yeah. So like I say, so I mean, you know, and like I say that that's one of those things where like, so for him, it was like, you no, know, like his nipples are hardwired to his cock then like, you know, that, you know, that helps his, you know, you know, when he's fucking, when he's getting his nipples, like I've even like seen scenes where like then when he's fuck, like if he's fucking somebody missionary and the bottom starts like playing with his nipples mm -hmm. and stuff. And so that's, you know, like I say, so for him, yeah, that nipple stipulation then goes, you know, goes to his cock. When you have sexual encounters now, when you have sex, when you meet up yes. somebody, when you hook up, how much emphasis is placed on nipple play? Oh, it's it's almost constant. Like like I I do kind of have a, a a regular fuck buddy, and that's you know that's definitely one of the things where you know like when you know when 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 we get together, you know, and like you know, kind of like the the initial like you know we're doing our little foreplay and everything like that. Um, you know, I, I, I try to hold, like, try to hold off as much as possible. Cause I, I, cause he's definitely like, when I start playing with his nipples, that's when he's, he gets ready to go then. Like I say, he's, he's definitely like, like our chemistry is great because, you know, as soon as I start playing with his nipples, like his dick kids hard and he just, he wants me to fuck him. And it's, it's, you know, it, it's almost like it's a, uh, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's a, very short, shared type of energy thing because the more that I play with his nipples and means like the more that he wants me to fuck him. And so when I am fucking him, like, you know, we, we do a lot of, uh, probably like I said, we, we probably do like 85% like missionary. So like while I'm fucking him, I'm also playing with his nipples and it's just, it's amazing. <laughs> You've seen something, right? You, you, there are men who are, their nipples are hard, hardwired to their dick. And then there are other men who are, like you would say, um, nipple bottoms where they're hardwired to their, their ass, let's say. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, I guess when I, when I say that it's more, much more like that, like there are men who like by playing with their nipples, whatever, depend upon how they, you know, if either they're, it, it, it drives their, their sexual motor, so to speak. 
Um, like I like I, I guess guess like the, the one that that one of those first times when I really discovered the whole nipple bottom was it was with this guy, and you know that was even when, when we were exchanging our our initial message, messages. He was like, I really love to have my nipples play with. He had like piercing nipples, um, and he's like, oh, like that's that's one of the things that really gets me going is to go ahead and like if you play with my nipples, you will be in my ass like instantly, <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, if, and it was true. <laughs> what's what's the hardest you've gone? Well, no, I, I haven't gone as hard as with like the, the the guy that I first had sex with. It's it's much more. I don't want to say it's it's definitely it's active. Like so, like say with, with my with my regular like partner. Um, I mean, you know, like I'll I'll like like. I want to say like almost like I'm like <laughs> adjusting a adjusting an antenna maybe <laughs> you know when when I'm <laughs> using my hands but like when I'm using my mouth like you know I'll I'll gently bite his nipples sort of like that you know and just like a lot of like licking and sucking and that type of stuff um so I mean it, it's definitely it's not to 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 injure but that that direct stimulation is you know like like I almost wish my nipples were sensitive enough to like feel what he's feeling because clearly what I'm doing is like it it works for him it gets him you know like I like like he he can be kind of tight but by going ahead and kind of like really like like pulling on his nipples while I'm like entering him it almost it helps to like loosen him up huh wow so it's like a, a an all natural poppers feeling for people <laughs> Maybe I, I guess like I I don't you know I, I don't use popper so I don't necessarily know what that that uh that sensation is but yeah yeah we like we don't use any kind of like poppers or anything when we have sex well but it's, yeah it's, so when when I'm like that's definitely something that I'm always doing is playing with the snippets like we, we probably uh like I, I think it just you know we we've also been like doing a little bit more uh doggy style mm -hmm. and but yeah and now I've, I've found I can still really go ahead and like manipulate his nipples when I'm in him doggy style. And it it's really been like, it, it sort of drives him crazy when I'm doing it, like doing it doggy style. So, you know, it, it's kind of like, we're like, I actually like, I like missionary because also, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm myself, I'm passionate. I love kissing him. So, you know, I, I, I probably like, I prefer missionary more, but I think he prefers doggy style more. <laughs> so. Have you ever had uh, an encounter where, the guy has gotten off just by you playing with his nipples without even touching himself. Yes, yes. I, I think in 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 one of my initial message, I, I think I had said that I I had an encounter with a guy, and I it it was it also uh, uh, ended up with a very extensive expensive uh, parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and so it it was a guy that uh, he you know he was a, a visitor in town. And so, uh, like the first night we, we like first night we got together, you know, I definitely like, I fucked him and, you know, I was playing with his nipples and everything. And that's like, we got together like the next day. And, you know, I, again, like after I finished fucking him, he was just, I, I want you to like go to town on my nipples. I want you to like, you know, go like as, as hard as you can. And, and again, like I said, I, I didn't do like, like that first guy. So I wasn't like biting, like mm -hmm. almost like trying to like bite him off, but you know, I definitely was more rough and like probably want to say like i was doing that for maybe about 20 minutes and you know he's like writhing on the bed i mean he's moaning and everything and so of course like this is just it's getting me off as much as him mm -hmm. and the next thing you know without even touching himself he, he's coming and it's just like holy fuck <laughs> that's that's, kind uh, of, that's an experience for you too if you're if it's turning you on without even like are you jerking off while this is happening or are you just well like, no, no like yeah so so i i'm i'm still like i'm like you know like i'm basically like i say i my his nipples are in my hands and i'm like i'm pulling i'm pinching like almost like as hard as i can and yeah and like i say like he he came without you know w without even touching himself Jeez, <laughs> you know, but after after I left, I <laughs> I was in a no parking zone, so I got a ticket. Oh yeah, was, and so I I, I was kind of pissed, but I was thinking, you know what, it was kind of worth. I it. I was gonna say it was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> Is biting for you the same as like tweaking or working nipples? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, just it, you know, it, it's almost like it's using the teeth to kind of like to pull, not necessarily to 
like to to penetrate i guess so to speak i i i think that's you know i i'm just i'm just using enough pressure just to kind of go ahead and be able to pull with my mouth so i mean so i'm i'm not you know i'm not biting into the nipple as much as just kind of like being like almost like a vice grip mm -hmm. And and just by using that, and also then like using my tongue around and everything like that, that it you know like use just kind of like almost like use my ent my entire mouth to kind of like both like to pull to like to to like twirl around and everything you know everything like that. So I'm not actually trying to like like I'm not trying to like <laughs> eat, you know like eat a piece of beef or something where yeah. I'm not trying to like tear it off. Yeah. <laughs> but you know You're it's just just, just to have using, a good time. <laughs> yes, yes, you know just it, it, it's providing stimulation. Yeah. Um, and so, and, you know, like I say, so like, I'm um, like, you know, if my, you know, like say in a mission, missionary position, you know, like if I have his legs over my shoulders, you know, I don't necessarily have them the, I can't use my hands then. So I'm using my mouth. What would you like to see more of? Oh, and uh, you, when you watch porn, have you watched any kind of like nibble play porn? Like, have you, have you graduated to that kind of porn yet? See, that that's the thing. I mean, cause I, like I say, like the, that, the, the guy, I think there's, um, well, there's because because there's definitely some like I would say there's there's also a guy uh, there's a guy Jake Waters, um, he has like beautiful nipples like they're like you know and, I, and he definitely likes them play or at least in in the porn that I've watched he likes them played with. Um, there's this uh, there's this uh, porn uh, like Will Angel, um, mm -hmm. he's like this big hairy bear guy, but he has like. Like I, I, again, he's one of those people. Like I would just love to like just spend an hour just you know with my mouth and hands playing with his nipples. Like they're like they're perfect. <laughs> okay. So yeah. so there, there's there's definitely there's people out there who have like like I can watch the porn, and when I'm watching the porn, I do focus on like I said like if if I notice then like if someone is playing with their with their nipples or like that, then it's just like that's that extra layer or extra boost you know that I get out of it. But not yet actual a porn for instance that's specifically or only about nipples well, well I, I think that, like if the, the stuff that probably would be more focused on nipples tense it, it seems to me or at least what i've noticed would tend to be more in like the bdsm type of like arena oh, and that then it, it it then becomes it doesn't become erotic it's more like ugh. <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm yeah. not into like pain oh, okay so you're not into all right so you're not going to have somebody come over sit down and put clamps on them and and electrocute no them. no okay. yeah that's yeah that that you know, that, yeah I, I lose lose the erection with that type of stuff okay so that's a step too much <laughs> yeah <laughs> no yeah it's, it's it's very good to establish your limits <laughs> and so and so that's always good speaking to a porn director who will listen to you if you had to see something different in porn what would you say or regarding nipples and stuff what would you want to see more of well, well I, I think some, some it, it's a lot of times it depends on how like you know i i guess obviously you guys are trying to get you you're right i i think i always hear you guys talking about you have your template where it's just like suck 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 three positions come you know whatever like that uh, so so it's more like when you know depending on in the positions then if you can sort of like, not necessarily close the end, but when you sort of like pull out, like, so if, if there's a, like, like if you was saying it, it was with a champ Robinson, mm -hmm. like if he's fucking a guy in like missionary position, if you're in the camera where you're at the, like sort of like at the head where, you know, like, like they're, they're, they're head to head fucking, mm -hmm. but you're sort of like behind them. So you can actually like look in. And, you know, like, sort of like, so you can see, like, while he's, while he's, like, the bottom's being fucked, you can see, you can focus on champ's nipples, but you can also focus on the bottom's nipples as well. Oh, okay. You know, like, like that, that's sort of like that kind of like shot is, you know, that, that's sort of, and, and like some, like in some, sometimes when you're moving the camera, you do get that shot, you know. But, it, but it's not so, focused on it. No, it's not focused on mm -hmm. it. But at the same time, then if you're on, then on their, I guess what is the profile on the side. So then you know, like, again, we're like, you know, they're, they're in that missionary position. And so if depending upon how the arm is placed, you can then see the nipple. Like that's one of the things where like sometimes when, um, like if you, if it is thing where a bottom is in doggy style and you're in that profile position, you can see 
both of them, mm -hmm. like as if the bottom is if reaching out to kind of like hold on to something. So you can see their chest. And if they have like, I feel like, like that eraser tip type of nipple, it's the perfect shot. And I'm jumping around a little bit, but I want to ask you about um, beach weather and summer and stuff. Uh, oh, that's the perfect season. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, shirt, shirt, shirts come off. Yeah. You know, even though sometimes in, in the winter, like if, if that, well, when, when the air conditioning is, uh, you know, like at the right temperature. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice for t-shirts as well. Oh yeah. Cause you can get, uh, they used to call them smuggling Tic Tacs. I don't know if they still do it. You know, I've never heard that. <laughs> smuggling Skittles or smuggling Tic Tacs because it's cold and you can see. That was that was a cheap thrill in high school. Um, <laughs> what is it like walking if you're on the beach? What is it like walking by the beach and just seeing massive? Um, well, of well uh, yeah, I'm I'm place. not necessarily a beach goer, but you know, it's one of those things where you know, I, obviously, like like I you know, I I live by the lake, so mm -hmm. you know, as I'm driving by, we're like that, and so like you know the you know, all the guys are out and they're jogging and it's just like, yeah, it, it's, you know, it, it's definitely like my season, you know, to go ahead and, you know, people watch then. Is it cheap thrills for you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. At, li listening to, to, to your podcast and like, you know, like I, like sometimes I'll listen to the podcast and then sometimes I'll go back and I'll actually watch the, the video of it. Mm -hmm. And that was, I was just, actually, I was just watching your Sean Duran video. Okay. Um, and there was one point where, like, he was doing the interview with his shirt off. And there was one point where it's like, I don't know if he was either conscious of it or un or, or unconscious of it, but he's like, he was sort of like scratching himself. But then he almost, he basically starts like playing with his nipple while he's doing the interview. So <laughs> it, it wasn't necessarily like, it wasn't sexual, but yet it was so fucking sexy and hot. And like, <laughs> I just started like, you know, jerking off like right then and there. <laughs> to the podcast? I love it. I can't. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I think this is a good starter, especially for nipple yes. fetish. It's something that I, I definitely wanted to know more about because, as I mentioned, uh, a, a lot of uh, porn stars really do love their nipples getting played with. So I will make a conscious effort to place more nipple play into um into into the scenes that I produce. Uh, considering you know even like I love little things. When it comes to, there are times where I do try to get nipple play, but I love little things like uh, the way a hand is gripping a bed when someone's getting fucked or the way feet are curling when uh, someone's getting fucked. Uh, or oh, getting, yeah. Or like that, that's like, I, I don't, I don't have a, like, not to interrupt you, but I, I don't have a foot fetish, mm -hmm. but I love watching, like, again, like if uh, a bottom in, in, uh, missionary position when their feet are up and their toes are just like curling and that like I say that's just <laughs> that's almost like an aphrodisiac and I know somebody's mentioned it before on set like because I have asked like why your nipples because if somebody touches my nipples I'm like ouch get off <laughs> I, and, yeah and I, I, yeah. I think I think that that's that's the, the biggest sort of like you know like like God giving you giving me the middle finger is a guy that will have like those, like that, that eraser nipple that I love. And the guy doesn't like the nipples played with like <laughs> it, it, it's, it, it's infuriating. <laughs> you know, I think it might stem back to a lot of people, you know, as guys, we, we give each other titty twisters and we give each other all this stuff in high school. And yeah, I, there is that. It's I, very, I wasn't even thinking about that. Don't you, it's traumatic. I think it's very traumatic when it comes to, uh, <laughs> like, later on, if you think of that being a stimulation, it kind of harpens back to, uh, or harkens back to when you were in high school and people were, you know, giving you purple nurples and stuff. <laughs> there are ways, though, I have, I have seen that there are ways that men can, uh, I guess women too, but men can, um, more specifically for this podcast, men can train themselves to hardwire their nipples. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I've definitely seen like the, like between, I guess what they're like the little, like the suction cups mm -hmm. and that like, I've seen like guy like, I like, like I'm not necessarily in, in porn, but more like online. I've, I've definitely seen a lot of guys who, who are in, who do do like nipple stuff. So like they'll have like the, the like nipple clamps, um, and stuff like that. And they'll, they'll do that stuff. And, and sometimes it's like, I say, it, it's, it can be for me erotic, but again, when it, when it gets to too much, uh, 
like again, this is a little bit of more of like a, there was there was an old school uh, por- porn um, actor. Um, uh donnie russo and i think i there's one point where i was watching his videos i think it's, it seemed like it was much more like almost like a leather theme thing but mm-hmm. you know he's he's sort of in his chaps and everything but he has like nipple clamps on a chain and so he i think he was like he was smoking a cigar pulling on on the the chain you know pulling on his nipples and everything and so it was like it, it, it was it was hot <laughs> but at the same time it was more like like I, you know i didn't really know much about the leather type of stuff and so you know it's more like you know he's kind of like you know he was talking to the screen like talking dirty like going oh i want you to blah 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 and it's just like it's like you're like shut up and just you know <laughs> do, do your stuff <laughs> exactly. is that something that you would experiment with at some point uh, i i think again like like I I think I, I did try to go ahead. I, I was I did try to train my nipples at one point, and then just like I don't know, I, I was impatient. <laughs> you know, it, or, or or at least like I didn't get the results that you know. I, I think that's that's even where I kind of like when I reached out to you, mm-hmm. it's much more like I I was actually kind of like looking maybe to see if there was somebody out there like I I would want I want to understand like the nipple bottom or or like you know the guy that you know like you know like if you play play with his nipples his cock gets like instantly like rock hard so to speak or whatever like that Ooh. um okay you know just kind of like you know what 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 is it like when there you know does that is it the 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 stimulation or like is it like uh like how does it does it move through your body when someone is like pulling on your nipple does that is it almost like does it move through your body and is that what produces the sensation that either stimulates your your cock or your 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 asshole okay and i think by putting that question out you will get either through comments on youtube or anything that i'll get via email i can send to you uh so if you hear that out there nipple bottoms uh, hardwired (laughs) nipple bottoms right well, even even it doesn't necessarily need to be a bottom. Just anybody who who has that hardwired sensation where if you if you play with your nipples, that really like that that get, gets it gets sort of gets your sexual motor like that's that goes from like zero to sixty. Any other questions that you would ask now that we have like an open forum where we can uh, somebody can respond in regard to uh, nipples? Uh, I, I I think, like I said, that that's that's kind of what I was, you know, that that was kind of like my main sort of thing was just kind of, you know, like I said, like I, you know, I I I guess it's like maybe, maybe I should be talking to the guy that I'm actually having sex with. Absolutely, <laughs> that, Absolutely. you know, like what what's his process? But I, you know, I think you know I'm just so busy having sex. It's like you know I'm not <laughs> even thinking about it. Then. <laughs> Listen, next time you have sex with him, you have to, you know, even tell him about this. Tell him and tell him that you spoke to somebody and they, I, you, you'll find that it's more, well, he's more willing to open up about it than you might think. And also, um, Hey, if you're doing the right thing, but he's like, but if you did it this way, it would drive me up the wall. I have the tendency of being a bit too inquisitive before sex or sometimes <laughs> after no joke, because of the fact that I, I want to know what's the best way to please somebody so you know especially if you if you know if you're into a couple kinks and stuff like that you kind of have to know or understand what gets somebody else off and and at that point it becomes a little more mental or a little more um psychological so you you have to be prepared for that i think and and then it's it's also it's also an exercise because the more you can do that let's say you know you're into you're into nipples and stuff but then how does somebody get you off? Is it just because you're watching another guy get off with nipple, nipple play and then you're fucking them at the same time? Uh, well, well, yeah, like, like if, if I'm actually having sex with, with someone and like I say, it, they're, they're, they're the nipple bottom. I mean, it's, I want to almost say it's like a, it, it's, it, you know, it's stimulus, it, it's stimulus response, but it's like sort of like the more that I'm getting him mm-hmm. off, the more that it's getting me off. Yeah. So it, it's just, it's this like, like circular sort of like energy, yeah. like exchange. So it works, where, it works well. Yes. Yeah. A lot. Now imagine not having it, not that it doesn't necessarily work well, but imagine you needed your dick sucked to, to get off. So, yeah. um, because you're doing two different things sometimes, I think that your brain we are well, well that's the thing like mm-hmm. like i love uh like if i'm if i'm getting my dick sucked and a guy has like 
playing with the guy's nipples while getting my dick sucked. That's another one of those. Like, again, I don't know if it's like idle hands, you know, like need something to do, <laughs> but you know, it's. <laughs> I've heard that phrase you know, so but, much. But yeah, like I and like so, it's almost like I, I by by using the nipple, I can also then like regulate how the 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 dick sucking is going. Like you know, it's like either like all right, go a little faster, so I'll like mm-hmm. pull them in, or you know, like I can like push them back, or you know, so yeah. it's like almost like a remote control. I was gonna <laughs> say, yeah, you're kind of you're kind of riding that. <laughs> you're you're holding on and. <laughs> It's it's very very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Okay. Well, look. What if I do this as an introduction? We will we will have this episode. If I find a nipple bottom, or if a, okay. a nipple bottom reaches out, what if we have that conversation uh, on another open lines? Oh with, yeah, with, that would be great. With you on it, and you know, we can we can go back and forth and and just you know talk about different things. Oh wow! Yeah, that yeah, I def- definitely do that. Okay, yeah, because because yeah. like I said, you know, I think this is a good opening, a good uh, a good place to start. Again, this is something that I'd be learning a little more about. You are teaching me, and and we would learn a little more from the passive partner or the person that's that's into um, getting their nipples tweaked while they're they're bottoming. And yeah, I think all around we'll all we'll all walk away knowing a little more. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, that would be great. Oof. All yeah. right. Well, look, I have to yeah, I have to thank you very much for uh opening my eyes so early in the morning. Uh to, Oh, yeah. No, no problem. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad I stayed up for it. <laughs> <laughs> um I, you, you, you know, can, can I actually can I ask you one question is it's non-related to to this. But, you can ask me anything. Uh, so I you know, like you know, again, like I say, I, I'm sort sort of new to listen to your podcast and you know, I, I've been jumping around, but I, I've you know, I've sort of your um i think there's been a couple of like a couple of mentions of you had you did a a scene for for raw fuck club with a uh uh trans guy Mm -hmm. um sid st vincent Mm -hmm. um that actually was like people uh like didn't like that or or they sort of like were saying like why didn't were you doing this because because i watched like i watched the clip for it and i think it's absolutely fucking hot (laughs) it was the first Um, ftm scene on a major porn a gay porn studio yeah and it's like i i think it it was uh, was like you know like definitely from the clip that i saw it it looked like a a amazing scene but it seems like when you so like reference it people hated it (laughs) and yeah Yeah, people uh it's it was at the time it was the most controversial it was the most liked and hated scene well yeah because a lot of um, FTM porn, I think there was, I don't even know if Jock Pussy was around yet, which is an FTM based site, website. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was one of those situations where the opportunity was there. I had never done it before or okay. shot a scene or ne- I've never worked with an FTM model at the time. And by just in case anybody doesn't know, FTM is female to male, um, uh, trans, a trans man. And it's, it was, it was controversial at the time. Uh, I, I don't think it, it, it no longer is, but okay, I, I okay. didn't, I didn't do it for the controversy. I did it more for the experience. I can, okay. you know, if I want to do controversy, I'll add politics into something like Trump and dump. Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the Trump one was <laughs> that I, 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 that was one of the ones it was, it was really hard because she had hot guys, but having those masks <laughs> on was just, ugh. <laughs> well, I, I did that. I did that for, there's a story behind that one too. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, uh, I, I was at Rafa club. We know this or dark alley for a long time. And yeah. I was privy to see a lot of the emails that would come in. And some of the emails that I would get from uh, people who were watching or subscribers were kind of questionable. And by that, I mean, you know, getting an email that's like, oh, you know, the website's great, but keep try to keep all the black and Latin guys off the website. Oh, my you know, God. Keep it to someone <laughs> okay. else. So I told my boss at the time, uh, I think Raw Fuck Club is an alt-right website. And he oh, he, he was so deeply offended by it that he's like that's not true and i was like I'll watch i'll show you and i did trump and dump and i shot it at the trump hotel in las vegas and yeah no, <laughs> the last right, scene, well, the last now, scene now, was shot now, I, yeah that's amazing 
<laughs> and and the people people like they left the website. That was another one of those sites. I think that's the most hated site on the, on the website, actually, which proved my point. Checkmate. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking amazing! I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it comes to that stuff, I uh, in, in general, you know, if it if it's different, why not? Let's let's give it a shot. We'll shoot. All right, E. Uh, again, I got to thank you. Um, thank you for giving me some of your time. Uh, we we shall do oh, no this problem. again next time. I have. Uh, uh, for next season, I'll definitely include a uh, hard, hardwired nipple podcast s- episode again, and have you on. Oh, that'd be awesome! Yeah, have you on? Let's get a couple people talking about nipples. Let's get a couple people kind of uh, dialoguing about what what gets them on, how to do it, some techniques, and all that shit. I think that'll be I think that'll be a lot of fun. I okay, that'll yeah, be that'll be great. And uh, just for you listeners out there, this has been another episode of Open Lines, uh, Demystifying Gay Porn. It's the podcast that is available on every podcast directory. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Wherever you find us, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. I never thought that before, uh, but but it absolutely does. And it helps us keep doing what we're doing here. Uh, my name is Ike Grande. If you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. Cheers.